Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about IXL H5 identifying uh, equal equations. So equivalent equations. So if they represent the same thing, they are called equivalent, such as uh, x minus 3 equals 11, and then multiply everything you see by 2. 2x minus 6 equals 22. So these are equal. Or look at the original, the first equation, add positive 3 to each side. If you add positive 3 to the left, 3's are going to cancel each other out. Or let's let's add 5, okay? To the left and to the right of this. If I add 5 to the right, it turns into 16. 11 plus 5 is 16. Negative 3 plus 5 is positive 2. Bring down the x. All of these are equal to each other because they represent the same thing. When you solve them for x, the answer is going to be the same. That's what equal uh, equivalent equations mean. So let's check these questions, this, this question out. Select all of the equations below that are equal to 20 plus j equals 19. So 20 plus j is the same as this right here, right? Ignore the same parts and see what's going on other than the same parts. There's negative 16 on the left. What happens if you do negative 16 to the right side? Minus 16. 19 minus 16 is 3, so this is equal. Because what I did for the left side, which is subtract 16, is the same for the right side, which is subtract 16. So let's move on to the next option. 20 plus j is the same. Let's cross those out. And what this tells me to subtract 13 from the left side. Is it the same for the right side as well? 19 minus 3 is 6, so that's another check mark. Right here, it tells me to subtract 11. What happens if I subtract that number from the right side? It gives me 8. It does not give me 6, so this is not an option. And right here, we have minus 5. And then is that the same for the right side? What happens if I subtract 5 from 19? It gives me 14, so that's another correct option. So this is what we are doing. You're going to see what the pattern is for one side and apply the same pattern to the other side and see if it gives me the same option uh, as the option uh, as the answer is given. So question number 2. Left side is easier. Oh, actually looking at the right side, I can see what's going on easier than the left. So I have UV, right, for the right side and they all have UV. So you can just cross the same parts out, and then the rest is going to tell you what to do for the other side. So the first option tells you to subtract 8. 16 minus 8 is 8, which is what you have on the left side. So that's one of our options. So subtract 7 and see what happens. Minus 7, that's 9. Is that the same number on the other side? Yes, so that's my answer too. Here it tells me to subtract 9 from both sides. So if I subtract 9 from right, it gives me this whole thing, which is what I was looking for. If I subtract 9 from the left, that gives me 7, which is the left side, so that's another correct answer. Right here, it tells me to subtract 5. Minus 5 gives me the right side. Subtract the same, num same number from the left, that gives me 11, so that's another correct answer that I was looking for. <coughs> So this one basically tells me to subtract 7 or not. Okay, let's do this one. This is uh, a little harder than the others. Okay, on one side of the equation, oh, I see. J minus 7, J minus 7 stays here. Uh, what's the thing that we did on the, for the left side? We have a plus 3, right? Is that the same for the other side? That's what we need to check. Because this is what they did for the left side. They added a 3. What happens if I do the same thing for the right side? Isn't that 7, 2? 4 plus 3 is 7. So that's one of my answers. Okay? So, for the next one, 
Let's see. I'm going to look at the right side because even though I can figure out what's going on for the left side, I think it's going to be a little harder for you guys. So look at the right side. The number that we have is 4, which is what we have over here, right? And then the extra stuff tells me to add 4. So the pattern for the right side is plus 4. What happens if I do this for the left side? Let's just do plus 4 and then see what it turns into. J, I'm going to bring it down because there, there's no like term. Negative 7 plus 4 is minus 3. Is that the same over here? No, that's not an option. I'm not picking that one. If it said J minus 3, I would pick that one. Okay, looking at the next one. 4 plus 5, it tells me to add 5. So if I do plus 5, that's going to give me this right side. If I do plus 5 over here, it's J minus 2, which is not the same. So this is not an answer. This is not an answer. Looking at the right side, I have 4. It turned into 4 plus 3. So let's add that plus 3 to the left. Negative 7 plus 3 is negative 4. J minus 4 is what I have on the left side. So this would be an answer for my question. Uh, okay, let's check this one out. So looking at this side, it's easier to see what number is added. For the first one, it is plus 10. And if I do plus 10, it does not give me 13. It gives me 12. Not an answer. And this tells me to add 12. If I do plus 12, that gives me 14 for the left side, which is what I have on the left. Uh, 13 is added. 2 plus 13 is 15. Because if I do this, again, that gives me 15 for the left side. And then ST plus, again, we are adding 13. It's the same equation as we see over here. The last one here, it's ST plus 3. ST plus 3, 2 plus 3. That gives me 5. I do not have 5 in here. That's a 7. So my answer would be just these two options over here. And let's skip one more one level. Okay, let's deal with these questions. Okay. Looking at the right side, I see what to do better. It, it looks easier because right here I have negative 4 plus r, right? And it's in all of the answers. Negative 4 plus r. And all we are doing is dividing them by either 2 or 2 or 22 or 11. So my first operation is divide everything by 2. Let's take that original equation and divide the left side by 2. Because this is what, what it is. It says divide it by 2. Right side is divided by 2, which is right here. And then when I divide the left side by 2, 42 over 2 equals to 22. So this would be my answer, not the original. So, nope, I don't want to pick that. Look at this one. It says divide by 2, left side is 22, which is what I was looking for. Because if I divide the left by 2, 42 over 2 gives me that number. That's going to be an answer for this question. And then let's see what happens if I divide the right side and left side by 22. Divide this by 22 and then I have that expression. I don't need to know what it is. They are the same. And divide the left by 22. What's 42? 44 divided by 22. It's this number over here. So that's an answer. Right here it says divide by negative 11. Pay attention to the negatives. So divided by negative 11 is that right side exactly the same do the same thing for the left over negative 11. So 44 divided by negative 11, if you use a calculator or not, the answer is negative 4. So that's going to be another answer right here. And let's do one more. Okay, I want to check the left side out. For me, it is easier to see what operation that I need to use. Negative 10 over s is in all of my answers right here and then okay we will do that last one 
after we are done with the first three. So for these three, I can easily see that it is times 14 times 6 times negative 14. So that's what I'm going to do on the other side. 6 times 14 because of this. I'm doing the right side. So that's 4. 6 times 4 is 24 and 84. Is that the number that I have? No, that's so that's why this is wrong. Now this right here tells me to multiply it by 6. 6 is my original number and then this tells me to multiply that right side by 6 which is 36. This is a check mark so let's just mark this one. In here I'm multiplying both sides by negative 14. Left is already multiplied. Take your right side multiply that by this number negative 14. If you want to you can put this in the parentheses. That's up to you. So multiply these two, it's negative 84, which is not the same number, so that's not an option. And then for here, it's easier on the right side to see what's going on, unlike these three options, because these showed me the multiplication on the left side, and here I have that multiplication on the right side. So look at that 6, it is multiplied by 6. So that's what I need to do. Multiply the other side by 6 and see what is going on. 6 times your left side, negative 10 divided by s. When you multiply a fraction by a number, you multiply the numerators. 6 times negative 10 is negative 60 divided by s, which is what I had on the other side. So that would be my answer. Let's submit it. So that's all for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions, and I will see you in another video.